Hey guys, we're going to do a video on how we do research with Merchant Former, um, specifically in evergreen niches. So I've had a couple of people question like, how do we do this? How do we keep track of things? How do we, you know, organize our thoughts, get them to our designers, everything else? So I thought this might be an interesting video for some of you guys. Um, so starting off, you're going to need Merchant Former. Uh, it's one of the few tools that I think are pretty much a must have if you're going to be doing merch by Amazon. If you're in the lower tiers, yeah, you can probably get away with it. 10 tier, 25 tier. Um, just be creative with your research on Amazon, use the Unicorn Smasher app, um, you know, you can figure it out. Like our strategy at 10 tier and 25 tier is you guys want to be, I think that you should be doing trending niches anyways. Um, so it's not like you really need to get into evergreen niches, but I think once you go beyond the 25 tier for the cost, it's worth every single penny. There's a lot of tools. It kind of integrates all your research in one spot. I don't use it for all of our research. I tend to use a lot of Amazon stuff. I use some other keyword things. Um, but it's very, very useful. It is something that I use every single day, specifically when I'm looking for shirts that I want to go after, niches to find out if it's worth researching, worth doing shirts in. I use Mer the, uh, the Merch Hunter app all the time. It's how we found the Eclipse. It's how we made our Eclipse shirts before pretty much anybody else, with the exception of a few people. Um, and I, I mean, honestly, like it's the number one reason I think that we got in on that trend fairly early. So if you are serious about Merch by Amazon, invest in your business. Uh, that's enough pimping Merch Informer. I don't get paid anything from them. I don't have an affiliate link for you. I just think it's valuable. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start here at Merch Hunter. And then what I'll do is I will sort by top 1,000, 100,000 and above. Okay. Um, this doesn't really matter. We're probably not going to turn up 1,000 shirts for 100,000 above rank that we're going to want to make. Um, but it kind of just opens everything up. Then I will go to this list right here. I blacked out some of it because it's not mine. It's RJ's, but I'm going to show you the animal portion of it here. This is our merch uh, niche uh, list. RJ Martinez, contact him if you guys want to get a copy of this. It's 20 bucks worth every penny. It has more niches than you would ever possibly imagine. It pretty much takes care of all that research for you. You just go down the list. And literally the way that we work it is I go down the list. Just down, 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 down each and every one, and try and see if there are shirts in that niche that I would want to go after. So we'll start off with cats. There's a little bit of lag time while it pulls everything up. Now what it's going to do is it's going to pull up every single shirt, BSR 100,000 and above, with the keyword cats in it. So come down here. Meow, I'm a cat. Okay. So shows you the ASIN, shows you the price. A little scrunched right here simply because I have it all on one window. Um, BSR is 100,000 basically, and according to them, they're estimating monthly sales of 24. I don't find this number to be particularly accurate simply because BSR fluctuates so much based upon sales of that shirt, um, sales within that niche, Amazon's algorithm, a lot of different things. Um, what is useful is this thing right here. Okay, if you guys haven't been using this, start using this. This is important. Okay, so what this is, is this is a sales rank graph. It shows what the fluctuation is in BSR. So starting off here, the shirt isn't on yet. Here's where the shirt was listed probably it's September 15th, and we see the BSR climb up to about 800k where it has its first sale. And then when you have, whenever you have a sale, you see a spike. So here was a sale. 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 So this is how you, kind of how you have an idea of how often something is selling on Amazon. It's a visual representation. So you can see that this shirt is probably sold, I would guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times since September 15th. That's pretty solid. You know, it's if that continues across the course of a whole month, you're probably looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, 20 shirts a month. That's a nice, solid evergreen shirt. That's definitely something that we want to look at, especially considering, like, look at that design right there. There's a lot you can do with that. Very basic. Um, completely and totally, you know, I mean, it works because it's basic, and I'm sure that's the reason it's selling, especially around Halloween right now. Like, you, they're probably marketing it as like a Halloween costume shirt or something like that. Um, this is a shirt that we would definitely be interested in. So, so what I'll do here is go ahead and close this, go and open it up here. And add it to our designer sheet. Okay, we'll go over that in a little bit. We'll go over a couple other ones just to give you an idea. So, 
look at me, I'm a cat. Meow, I'm a cat. See a similarity? So this is probably something that's selling fairly often. BSR is pretty close. Go back over here, we look at BSR price history. All right, see something different here? Okay. Um, shirt was probably uploaded fairly recently. Uh, it had a sale almost immediately is what I'm guessing, which is why Amazon had the BSR right here. But we don't really have data other than the other shirt. This is going to be a great shirt for us to make. This is why it's important to always look at the sales rank graph versus just BSR. If you're just looking at BSR, what you're going to end up finding is, especially if you're doing a lot of shirts and research and you're saving them to a spreadsheet and then you're just kind of getting to them a couple days later, you'll find out that the BSR is radically different because BSR constantly fluctuates on Amazon. So if you're an FBA seller, if you've done private label, if you've been on Amazon before, you're totally aware of how to read a sales rank graph. You probably know how to use Keepa, but I know there's a lot of people in Merch that aren't. This is their first experience with it. Got to pay attention to the sales rank graph. So because I know about the other shirt, you know, I'm assuming this is probably something that would, would sell. Um, but again, I want to have a little bit more data. So we go down here and this shows you kind of how random shirts can show up when you're searching for something. Um, it also shows to me too, like if I'm searching for cat shirts and this shirt shows up, I'm probably not likely to buy it um, if I want a cat shirt. Maybe it catches your eye, you want to do something else. But if you look here, you can see in the description, and I'm not sure exactly where Merch Informer pulls their data from, if they just index it and pull it from everything, so description, bullet points, titles, everything else. Um, because you can see here, whether you want to be a zombie cat, unicorn clown, or pregnant princess, who is a flesh-eating lesbian nurse, it's an awesome description, by the way. Um, that's what it's pulling for right here. Uh, this shirt is selling... Um, emoji is kind of off limit. I know it's trademarked. I'm surprised they haven't had a problem with it. Some things get through. It's not a shirt that I would be particularly interested in doing right now, just with the current climate on Amazon, with the way trademarks work, everything else. Um, so another cat shirt here. Awesome, awesome Jaguar paw print t-shirt, men's, women's, and kids. Okay, so let's look at the sales rank craft. All right, so this is what we want to see. We want to see lots and lots of spikes. The shirt's been up for a while. Um, looks like it's a consistent seller. You can see from September 1st, we have one down spike here. So one, two, three, four, five. This is maybe a sale, probably not, though. This is probably just something else in the niche selling that's affecting its BSR. But it looks like since the beginning of September, it's had six sales. Okay. Um, it's a consistent seller. These are the kind of shirts, guys, that, yes, they're not going to make you rich. What they are going to do is they're going to consistently every single month put in 30 to 40 bucks in your pocket. Guess what? When you have, you know, let's say a thousand of those putting that much into your, into your pocket, it's a lot of money. It adds up. It's, it's a numbers game with Amazon. So trends are great. Trends make us a lot of money. Like trends made us a lot of money with the eclipse. But at the end of the day, what's really going to fill your pocketbook is by having a catalog that has a lot of these evergreen shirts in it. So, continuing on, 118K BSR. Let's see, look at the sales rank graph, see what it looks like. Looks like lots of little spikes, and it hasn't been on Amazon very much. Um, and they're marketing it as a Halloween shirt, which is probably part of the reason why it's selling fairly well right now. Um, you know, it looks to me, it's cute, cute design, maybe even like Dia de, Dia de los Muertos um, type design also. Um, lots of sales. It's a good, good design. So that's one we are also going to be interested in going after. So what I'm trying to show you guys is, and this might be a little bit boring and a little bit repetitive, but this is the process. This is what we do. This is how we find the shirts that we want to go after, how we decide what shirts that we're actually going to make. If you notice, I'm not sitting here with like a pen and pencil and randomly putting down ideas. There's a system. So I just literally go down this spreadsheet. Cats, dogs, birds, horses, elephants, monkeys. Go down the spreadsheet, find shirts that have that rank, find shirts that fit within our criteria. So we're looking for 300K BSR and below, making sure that those shirts are actually something that is sold more than one or two times, um, making sure that there is some history behind it to make sure that it's worth doing the design, and then rinse, repeat. Com just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. That is the majority of our shirts. So we do compete in trending niches. We do go after Halloween shirts. We do go after Christmas shirts, some of the other dates that are coming up. But overall, the majority of our catalog that's selling right now is evergreen shirts. 
Um, best asshole husband ever. I'm still surprised these shirts are up. Uh, I don't. And Amazon's not very clear with what they consider profanity, what they consider cursing. So I've passed on doing anything like this. We passed on doing like best smart ass daughter shirt the other day, even though we actually sent a design to the designer and we talked it over and decided, you know what? Better to play it safe than sorry. Everybody has different levels of risk tolerance. Personally for us, we think this is kind of the ground floor in Amazon. I don't want to get kicked out before it really starts to get good when hoodies and mugs and long sleeve t-shirts and tank tops are all available for us to sell. So we play it better safe than sorry. If there's any kind of question, we don't go there. Um, Meowkala. It's actually a really smart shirt. Every once in a while you'll see a shirt too where you're like, God damn it, I should have thought of that. This one I would guess probably sells pretty consistently. And you can see, like, just boom, 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 boom. Selling every goddamn day probably. Good shirt. So, if you guys are watching this, this is a shirt that I would definitely want to make with Halloween coming up. Um, design's cute, but it's really basic. Like, you can do better. And if you made this shirt, um, that's not an insult. Like, that's a great design right there. Great design, great idea, great execution. I just think that there's room in the market for some other designs. So, good job. Like I said, this might be a little bit boring, but I think it illustrates for a lot of people what we're looking for specifically. I'm just trying to show you our exact process for how we research shirts. Um, so, again, we can see that the shirt was listed here September 19th. It has a sales rank of zero. Climb, 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 climbs. It's the first sale here at September 25th, and then now it seems to be selling fairly consistently as we're getting into Halloween, which makes sense. If you look at Google Trends and you look at the trend line for when Halloween searches start, they start around September 25th, climb really, really high all the way up to Halloween, and then taper off. Um, so we had a lot of designs up fairly early, but we weren't surprised that they weren't selling particularly well until you know about two weeks ago because of that. Okay, so let's go to another niche. I'm going to continue just for information's sake so you guys understand. Like, if you look at the BSR right here, like, all of these BSRs here are really, 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 really good. Like, fantastic BSRs. These are shirts, you know, provided that they are actually selling at that rank consistently, if that's their consistent BSR, these are all shirts that we want to go after. So if you guys are, like, struggling for ideas, there's no excuse. Like Merchant Former will lead you to more ideas than you could ever possibly make. So I'm not really counting right now, but I'm guessing in the cat niche right now, um, if we're setting our limit at 300k BSR, I would guess there's pro that's over 100 shirts right there because it's 100 per page. Um, let's see. Can we get all the way down? We're about three quarters of the way down. I bet you there's 150 shirts right now on Amazon in the cat niche that are selling below 300k BSR. So 300k BSR is kind of our cutoff right there. That's a shirt that's going to sell once or twice a month, basically, on Amazon. Um, so obviously, this is a niche you should probably be after. If there's 150 shirts in that niche that are selling that well, and numbers are going to be slightly inflated going into fourth quarter, but still, cats crush, dogs crush. You know, these are niches that sell all the time. So if you think about it and you don't have a single cat shirt up in your portfolio right now, you should think about your process. Think about why don't I have one of the niches that's one of the most popular on Amazon. I'm guessing most of you do. Um, so just to show you one more time with a different niche, look, we'll go to dogs. That's the next one on the spreadsheet. And same thing. Um, going down here, and we just want to look for shirts with good BSR, check the price history, fantastic, okay? Anytime it looks like an earthquake and you just see up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down like that, um, like, this is a shirt that's, that's crushing. It's doing really, really well. Um, you know, it's over a longer period of time, too, so this is something that is selling consistently probably somewhere in the 200k BSR rank. If you look just kind of 
right along the middle right here. That's kind of where it is. So this shirt probably sells, I would guess, you know, four to eight times a month, depending on, you know, demand and everything else. So I hope that guys, that helps you guys. Um, this is how we do our research using this tool right here. It's getting a little bit long. It's about 15 minutes long. I don't want to make an hour long video, which I definitely could going over some of this stuff. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to go over it and answer them. Uh, do me a favor, please share it if this helps you. And thanks. One last thing I forgot to go over with you guys here is, so when I put these on the designer spreadsheet here, this isn't the final thing, right, before I want to send it to the designer. This is just me keeping track of everything. What I want to do then is I want to actually take whatever the title is, whatever the shirt is about, and I want to run it through tmhunt.com and make sure that I'm not dealing with a trademark issue. So, you know, make sure that the main idea behind the shirt whatever it is is not trademarked make sure that i'm not gonna have to worry about my wasting my money with my designer for her making a design that we can't use so just want to make sure i reiterated that real quick make sure you guys you know are still doing that like just because it's selling on amazon doesn't mean that you guys you know are going to be able to sell the shirt or i'm going to be able to sell the shirt some stuff makes it through their algorithm and then a week two weeks look down the road you know you get whacked and the shirt comes down so a perfect example is those uh, candy shirts the m shirts that are up there right now they're selling really well if you go through merchant form and you click on them they're still showing up in their database but amazon has actually yanked all of those shirts you'll see a dog show up instead of the actual design for the shirt so just wanted to clarify that real quick Thanks, guys. Um, I hope this video helps you guys. If you have other ideas or other things that you would like me to see, um, please include that in the comments, too, just so I have ideas where you guys are feeling that you're having a weakness. And that'll help me to make other videos to help you guys out. So have thanks. I appreciate it. Have a good night.